I want to do a Q&A, man. Ask me some questions down below about life things, man. How my life is going, like, now, right now. Like, a lot has changed, and, you know, I just... I want to open up to you guys. I want, I want, I want you guys to get to know what's going on with me, man. Get to know me, man. So go ahead, ask me some questions down below, man. I'm gonna do a Q and A very, very, very soon. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy X with X Factor Fitness. Today I got something special for you guys. I got a question out there, and a lot of people want to know, especially the beginners. And this is going to be a great video to inform all the beginners on how you should take creatine. You saw the title of the video before you clicked on it, so I'm pretty sure you wanna know as well. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna explain a few things within this video. I'm gonna to explain to you what creatine really is, what creatine is not, uses of creatine, what types of creatine are out there. I'm gonna tell you how to use creatine. I'm gonna show you how I use creatine. And then I'm gonna tell you the do's and don'ts on what to do while you're using creatine. And that's it. So hopefully you can take a lot from this video, man. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm trying to educate you guys. I'm trying to help you guys get gains. Get the gains. It's all about making gains. First up, what is creatine? I'm pretty sure all of you think you know what creatine is. We all have our own definition of what creatine is. So I'm gonna tell you my definition of what creatine is from the research that I have done over the years. And creatine is basically a chemical. It's in your muscles, man. It's in your body already. It's in your brain. It's in red meat and it's in seafood. Yes, you already have creatine in your body. What creatine is not? Creatine is not a steroid. All right, there's a lot of you out there thinking you're gonna get on some creatine and you're gonna walk around here looking like The Rock. That's not happening, let it go. You're not gonna look like The Rock by taking a couple scoops of creatine. It's not happening. I know a lot of you out there don't wanna take creatine because you're afraid you might get as big as The Rock, but you won't, man. That's not what creatine is about, okay? A few uses of creatine. Creatine will help you increase your muscle. But if your body is not capable of building muscles as big as 20 inch biceps, you won't do it. Creatine is not gonna help you do that. Your body can only reach a certain limit. And creatine is gonna help you increase that muscle. It's gonna help you improve that performance in the gym. So it's gonna give you a boost of energy. It's gonna help with the muscle recovery after the workout, you know, because everybody should be sore after the workout. If you're not sore after the workout, you're not working out hard enough. And just all around, man, it's gonna help you build that strength. And that goes along with the muscle. In order for you to build muscle, you gotta be getting stronger. So that's what creatine is all about, man. Creatine is not some steroid that's just gonna magically put a lot of muscle on you. You gotta apply it right and see where it goes from there. Now there are a lot of different types of creatine. A lot, a lot, a lot, man. A lot, a lot. Now I didn't know this before, you know, and I did a lot of research, but there's a lot of creatines out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and list them all for you. So try to keep up. They got creatine, magnesium, chelate, Creatine pyruvate, creatine citrate, micronized creatine, creatine nitrate, buffered creatine, creatine hydrochloride, and the best, the best of the best, and this is exactly the type of creatine you need to be on, is the creatine monohydrate. I said best. So whatever supplement you get, as far as creatine goes, it needs to include creatine monohydrate. If it doesn't have creatine monohydrate, stay away from it. Because the creatine monohydrate, out of all that long list of creatine, that is the only creatine that is gonna give you all the uses that I listed earlier. The strength, the growth, the recovery, the improved performance. That's what creatine monohydrate does for you. Now, to show you guys what creatine I am always on and the creatine that I always use, BPI Sports Best Creatine. But y'all already know, especially for the OG followers and everybody that's been watching me for at least a couple videos in, you guys know BPI products is all I use and Best Creatine is all I use for creatine. That's just what I use. I did use, I used to use like the GNC uh, creatine monohydrate and all things like that, but Best Creatine, BPI, that's all I use now. And it has a list of different creatines in it. But the main thing and the first thing it lists is creatine monohydrate, which is the most important creatine out there. But on that list of creatines that I just listed, 
it has a few of those in there as well. And you can see that on the label. I'm not going to list them, but you can read on the label. It has a lot of pro, uh, different creatines in it. And just no matter what, man, no matter what I say, you have to try everything out on your own and see what it does for you. So this best creatine BPI for me does the job, man. It gives me everything I need and I've been using it, taking it, applying it for a long time. So that's just what I use. Use what you want, but make sure it's creatine monohydrate inside. Moving on, how to take creatine. Now, a lot of you have your own different ways of taking creatine and you probably have heard of different ways of taking creatine. And I'm gonna tell you this, if you're a beginner or you just really don't know, don't understand, the best thing you can do when in doubt is to read the label. Read the back label, it has directions on it on how to apply the creatine, how to take the creatine. Follow the instructions, man. It's gonna tell you, take one scoop pre, during, or post-workout and do just that. Just one scoop, especially if you're a beginner, you need to only be using one scoop. No need for two, no need to overdo it. Do one scoop. See how your body reacts to it because there are side effects. So you need to make sure that this creatine is uh, giving you what, what you need. Of course, you need to take it for uh, a period of time just to see if it really works, but you need to make sure that it's not causing you to vomit, uh, nausea, making you lazy, and all those type of different feelings because if it is, stay away from it. Tingly feelings and all that, that means it's not for you. And it's too strong for your body most likely and you just don't need it. Creatine is not something that you need. It's something that you can just use if you want to. It's gonna aid you in all those uses. It's gonna aid you in the muscle growth. It's gonna aid you in all the performance and all that. But you can get it all done without creatine. So if you're experiencing bad side effects, stay away from creatine. I'm gonna tell you how I use creatine. I've been using creatine for quite some time, you know, on and off here and there. And I take a scoop pre-workout and I take a scoop post-workout. So pre-workout, I'm getting that energy. It helps me with increasing my strength because now I got more energy, so now I can move more weight. So that's what the creatine does for me. So I usually take it about 20 to 30 minutes before my workout. And once it kicks in, man, always, oh, it's on, it's on, it's on. And I also take it post-workout for the recovery. And also for that lean growth, that lean muscle mass. Creatine is known to put mass on your body muscle growth and that's why I do a post so I take two scoops a day but when I first started out with the creatine it was only one scoop so if you're advanced go ahead and do try out two scoops do one before your workout and one after your workout see what that does for you it's probably gonna help you a lot man and you're gonna you're gonna find yourself going hardcore in the gym for quite some time last but not least let's talk about these do's and don'ts there's only a few really do's and don'ts out there that you need to keep in mind when you take creatine, you need to make sure that you're drinking lots and lots of water, especially, especially during your workout. And that is because, man, you can experience some dehydration and you don't want that. You can overheat and you don't want that. So what you need to do is make sure you're chugging some water, guzzling some water. Don't get any cramps now, but make sure you're drinking a good enough amount of water. Because you do not want to be that guy to pass out at the gym because you had too much creatine, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you're drinking your water. Now the don'ts, I would say, do not mix it with caffeine. There are some people out there mixing that creatine with the energy drinks and all that. Don't do that, people. It's not safe, it's not worth it. I mean, I don't do it and I don't recommend you guys to do it. Too many variables affecting your heart is not good, man. Quick story, I know of a guy who uh, was playing football and he overdid it with the creatine, just way too much creatine for his body and next thing you know his heart exploded. So that is a serious case, man. I'm not trying to scare you guys from creatine, but that is something serious. So one scoop a day is decent, two scoops a day is decent. Do not overload. They have this thing called a uh, loading zone or something like that as far as like loading up on a whole bunch of creatine. Don't do that, man. That's, that's not even smart, man. You, you're putting all that pressure on your heart and all that and it's just not worth it, man. It ain't worth it. I mean, the gains is gains, but you can get the gains, man. Don't kill yourself, people. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. And then the last thing I would say is don't leave your creatine in the sun. Basically, don't leave it in the car, heating up, you know? I left my I left my creatine in the car for quite some time, and come back to the creatine like, oh yeah, I'm about to get it in, creatine. Open the can, and it's like a big block of 
creatine. A hard block of creatine. If clear, your creatine will clunk up if you leave it in the uh, sun. So don't leave it in the sun. Or that you know, the creatine is not effective anymore. It's done. You can try to get the clunks out, but the creatine is, is done, man. There's nothing in the creatine that's gonna help you no more. You pretty much dried everything out, and now it's just a big blob of nothing. Don't leave it in the sun. And if you don't wanna listen to me, guys, go ahead, man. Search online, Google. They got websites. You got another websites: WebMD.com, Drugs.com, Examine.com, MedlinePlus.gov. That's official. Do your research, man. Before you do anything, I would just say do your research. I mean. Everybody has their own perspectives of what creatine is and what creatine does. Find out for yourself, man. Do the research, man. Go ask a doctor or something. Or just listen to me, because I got all the knowledge you need. Nah, not really, man. I don't know it all, man. Not at all. And I don't act like I know it all, you know? But I'm just, I just speak off of experience. Everything I do, everything I tell you guys is off of experience. Like I said, I've been taking creatine for a while now, on and off, you know? Um, sometimes I just don't take it. Uh, for periods of a time just because I don't need it maybe you know for the energy and all that kind of stuff but hey it's beneficial and it'll help you out so do what you want go ahead and play this video back if you need to uh, go over what creatine is and which creatine you need to be doing using okay quiz time what is the best creatine to use creatine monohydrate I hope this video was helpful, man. If it was, man, go ahead and smack that like button down below. Hook your boy up with some likes, man. Where the likes at, man? Hook me up with some likes, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. We got a lot more videos coming for you. I already have a list of topics I need to cover with you guys just to help you guys out. You guys know all my videos from here on out are to help. I'm here to help. I'm giving you guys knowledge. I'm helping you out in all areas, man. I'm here on out. So you know what? If you got questions, go ahead and shoot them down below, man. Shoot me a question, man. I'll make a video for you. I, I'll help you out. I'll inbox you. Do whatever you need to do. I want to help you guys out. Also, I want to do a Q&A, man. Ask me some questions down below about life things, man. How my life is going, like, now, right now. Like, a lot has changed. And, you know, I just, I want to open up to you guys. I want, I, want, I want you guys to get to know what's going on with me, man. Get to know me, man. So go ahead. Ask me some questions down below, man. I'm going to do a Q&A very, very, very soon. But anyways... That's all I got for y'all. Thank you for watching.